video. Today I wanted to give you a little short self-portrait tutorial. Self-portraits come in two forms. They are either used for advertisement purposes because painters back in the old days and even right now still rely on patrons for money. So then they wanted to their self-portrait advertise like, look, I can make you this awesome portrait of you and your family and I know how to make you look awesome. All the advertising, all the advertising by already. We our first example is Peter Paul Rubens with his wife. It was common for newlywed couples to get paintings with their wives in order they would either be together in the same painting or they would be right next to each other. Peter Paul Rubens here is showing just how nice and sweet he can make you look and to show the world that you have a very nice and healthy relationship with your wife. The next painter worth mentioning who does self-portrait for advertisement purposes is Judith Leister. She's a, la she's a lady painter and she mainly, did, she mainly painted in the Baroque style. And then over here what she's showing in her painting is that first she can do transparency very well. That's why in the foreground you see her hand and her brush and then you see the transparent laces. Transparency was something very hard to manage in painting, a very hard effect. So then she was showcasing, look, look at how beautiful I can do the garments. And then she was also showing her face smiling because showing paintings where you actually smile was very rare back then because not a lot of painters could get like, most of the time they were just doing static looking painting. So then she showed, look, I can do, I'm a great painter, I can do portraits, but look, I am also very good at genre painting, which is why she has a little violinist in the background. So then she's just showing all of, all of her little painting skills, looking for patrons that want to hire her. So that's as far as advertisement is concerned. Now, the other purpose of self-portraits, it only came on in later times, is to tell the audience or whoever wants to listen something about themselves. The painting that I chose for express, for self-expression is The Desperate Man by Corbett. Oh, Corbett was a realism painter. Realism wasn't, it's very different from like hyper-realism. Hyper-realism they want to say, look, I can paint as good as a photograph. And in fact, I can catch you even more details. Realism was about showing the people the reality of things. Look, this is how it is. No embellishment whatsoever. And then the reason why he's like that is with his eyes looking crazy looking at you is that he wants to, Corbett wants to illustrate the fact that he just can't take the reality of the situation. The things that he sees every day of his life are just awful, simply awful. And he's just desperate about it because, you know, he, Corbett cared about the working class people and, you know, the suffering of the, of the common man that came about with industrialization because instead of things getting better for poor people, in fact, it seemed to have gotten even worse. So then he was just desperate by the situation that just, he just couldn't take what he was seeing. It's bad and it's getting worse and he feels desperate about it. And that's why he has, that's why he's displaying himself as a desperate man. The next painting that was made for the whole purpose of expressing oneself and turning the viewer something about the painter is Frida, is Frida Carlos as a Tejuana. The thing about Frida Carlos is that you can like, she's, the perfect painter to study if you want to do self-portraits that tell the audience something about themselves. So the, the type of dress that she's wearing was commonly worn by matriarchs, you know, like women leaders. So then, but very interesting enough, she painted in her forehead uh, Diego Rivera and she has a little tear. So but this same, very simple self-portrait is telling the audience is that she wants to portray herself to the world as a strong and independent woman. But deep down she's still thinking about her man and she's very sad about it. And more importantly, love hurts. 
And she being in love with a man is hurting her. She wants to be a strong, independent woman, but it's not as easy. It's not easy. So there you have two different ways of doing self-portraits. You can either do a self-portrait to sell, or you can do a self-portrait to tell the audience something deep and emotional about yourself. I hope you find this little short lecture amusing. Bye-bye, and God bless.